There are no words to describe what a Chesapeake family is going through tonight. Lockie Copeland was just 10. He drowned yesterday at the oceanfront near 60th Street. The boy was playing on a sandbar with family and they got in over their heads. Police found his body when it washed ashore about 10 blocks down just after midnight. Then on your side, Stephanie Harris spoke with family members today and Stephanie, three others were also taken to the hospital. How are they doing right now? Tom, family tells me they swallowed a lot of water. So I can say they're all gonna be okay physically, but emotionally, it is gonna take a very long time for them to recover. There was just something about Lockheed Copeland's smile. If you met him, you would never forget him. He loved sports, video games, and he loved his sister and brother. How do you tell a six-year-old that his brother's gone? It was hard. It was hard, but I had to do it. I was told me you're in a better place now. You'll see him, you'll see him again, so don't, don't worry. But you can see he's taking it hard. David Brown, who is like a stepfather to Lockheed, doesn't know where the family will go from here. Can't tell you. Not home. I don't know. It hurts bad. Brown broke down as soon as he walked away. The entire extended family is devastated. <laughs> Nearly 30 of them spent the night at an oceanfront hotel, comforting Lackey's mother and the cousin who tried to save him. He was the last one to talk to him. He was the last one to hold on to his hand, and his hand slipped away, and then he grabbed him again, and his hand slipped away again, and he couldn't, you know. There were five family members on the sandbar when a tide came in and put the water over their heads. Two former lifeguards and an EMS worker were on the beach and heard their cries for help. And there were heroes yesterday. There's no question about it. There was a, that could have been a multiple victim tragedy um, that would have been the, one of the worst we've seen. Lackey was excited to become a middle school student this fall. Instead, he leaves this world a teacher. Just be careful out on the beach because no one expected that to happen. Now, the lesson the lifeguards want you to take away from this is that sandbars are dangerous. Look, you can walk out onto one with the water being only at your knees or your waist, but then over time, the sandbar can move or the tide comes in and then the water around it gets deeper. Now when you step off, look, the water is over my head. If I don't know how to swim, I'm in big trouble. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.